Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, back with some more digital marketing advice. Now, in today's short video, I want to answer a question I've seen asked a few times online, and that's how do you monitor your website traffic in real time? So you might be familiar with the fact that you can use Google Analytics to measure your traffic over time, so see if your organic traffic's growing and see what pages people view and so on. You might even uh, prefer just using sort of inbuilt analytics within a system like Shopify or Wix or Squarespace to do that depending on how your site's built, although as I've said in previous videos I would recommend you do have Google Analytics running. Um, you know, it's the sort of industry standard system for website analytics and measurement. But what if you want to monitor things in real time? So you don't want to look back at what happened last month or last quarter or last year. You want to know what's happening right now. For example, let's say that you've got a product launch happening on your site and you've you just blasted out a big email campaign to your database and you want to see how people are interacting right now in this sort of given point in time. What do you do? Well, if you've got Google Analytics, you can actually go and use real-time reporting within your uh, Google Analytics dashboard to see how people are interacting. So if you want to monitor traffic on your website in real time and you've got Google Analytics, then go and use the real-time reporting there. A lot of people uh, I speak to who use Google Analytics, especially business owners who are kind of testing the waters themselves in the digital marketing space, they aren't familiar with the fact that there is even a real-time report within Google Analytics. Now, real-time reporting in Google Analytics Sometimes there is a bit of lag to it, I believe, although you'd have to um, you know, go and check the technical documentation that there's a sort of batching process. I think I was, saw that on a uh, Measure School video, I'll leave a link to that channel in the video description because there's fantastic Google Analytics tutorials on there. But uh, they talk a bit about batching within Google Analytics real-time reports, uh, if my memory serves me right. So there are often a few delays that you'll notice, but basically to the best possible extent and without getting into any expensive software or anything, Google Analytics real-time reporting is going to allow you to see how many people are on your website right now, uh, what are they looking at in terms of pages or content, where have they come from in terms of channels and locations, and even how they're interacting with uh, you know events or conversions you're trying to track. So if you want that real-time analysis, I would definitely recommend starting with Google Analytics. Then you could explore other options from there. But to be honest, I'm yet to encounter a situation in my day-to-day -day work as a digital marketing consultant where Google Analytics real-time reporting isn't uh, sort of good enough for most of what a business is trying to achieve, the, the fundamentals, the bits that actually need to be done. So yeah, if you want to measure your website traffic in real time, go and look at your Google Analytics real-time reports if you weren't aware that was available. That's going to give you some really good insights. And you don't have to wait like you do with the... Uh, you know, sort of regular reporting where you've got to wait often up to about 24 hours to get that full report through for the previous day or previous week. Um, so yeah, look at real-time reporting, it's very, very helpful. Uh, I use it quite a bit actually, especially for things like testing website conversion actions or events. If I've set something up, I want to test it, see it actually works, I'll go and use the real-time reporting rather than clicking, uh, you know, on a click to call link and, and waiting until tomorrow to see if that event or conversion was registered, I can do it via the real-time reports and see things in real time. So yeah, hopefully you find that helpful. If you've got any questions, please do let me know. Leave a comment below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more digital marketing advice if you found this helpful. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.